Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team with another week's worth of videos for your resilience, perseverance, confidence during these times of crisis. First of all, though, before I begin on this important video, uh, Mike and I are both going to start by, of course, thanking all of those silent heroes behind the scenes. I'm in lockdown, Mike's in lockdown, but the nurses, the doctors, the people that are organising and running this country, the army, the police, the fire service, all of those silent heroes, this is also for you. Okay, so if you remember on the last set of videos, uh, we talked about the importance of finding, if just move across, um, this in our daily routine during this difficult time, set. If you remember, when we looked at the word set, that meant how are you going to be during these difficult times? We talked about the idea of serving, controlling your thinking, and finally finding opportunities to provide empathy, find empathy in the people that are around you by helping those people in your immediate environment as well. Now, I still have this in my pocket somewhere. Here it is. So I'll show you a close-up of that in a minute. And I carry that around every day just to remind me if I can keep those three corners of that triangle uh, bubbling, if you like, behind the scenes and keeping my mind focused during these difficult times. So on today's video, you may be wondering why there is this piece of artwork just here. Uh, a quick drawing that I'm afraid my art this the other day wasn't as great as normal, but a quick drawing for you to have a look at. I'm going to explain this. I never forget this time when I was out in the countryside walking and I saw these two boys uh, leaning over a bridge over a stream. And the boys were playing that game where you drop things into the stream and you watch the objects float down the stream, they, they float down and they can get carried away. One of the boys was dropping sticks in and that was great fun because they could watch the sticks uh, travel down the stream, they could race sticks down the, down the stream as well. But then the mood changed a bit because one of the boys started to drop in a crisp packet, which of course is going to pollute the stream. Now I, I remember watching these two boys and it, it, it really gave me an idea. You see, on a daily basis, moment by moment, you have a stream of thoughts coming through your body, through your mind, affecting how you're feeling, but more importantly, how you are functioning. The question is, are you dropping sticks in, which are going to pollute that mind, that stream, or are you dropping in thoughts, images, like a crisp packet, that are going to pollute that vital energy, which is going to keep you resilient during these times. Now, it's something that Mike and I study extensively in the Think to Thrive program. The idea that this is a power flowing through your mind. The mind is incredibly powerful, but you've got to be feeding it with things that are not going to pollute that marvellous faculty that you have. So I've come up with an idea for you over the next six days. Stream. Going back to that image of the stream. I want you to think about this term stream. In fact, I'll come over to the side here so you can also have an uh, image there with the stream in, in as well. Stream. So for the next six days, I'm going to be taking each letter from stream. What we're going to be doing is we're going to uncover solutions to these questions. Let me ask you these questions. Right now, I want you to list on a piece of paper, or you can just shout it out loud, what are the main problems or frustrations during this time of lockdown and crisis? Have a think about that right now. I bet you that those frustrations will never mind that I'm going to repeat to you. So let's have a think, what are those frustrations? Okay, I bet they're some of these things. Frustration, uh, loneliness, uh, depression possibly, worry, anxiety. Uh, when's it all going to end? Uh, I feel trapped, I feel isolated, my mind is numerating, I'm getting pulled in this direction or that direction. Um, I just feel frustrated and trapped and locked in. Now I can guarantee that those frustrations that I've just listed will be very similar to yours. Where's the hope? When are we going to get out of this? We've gone for a long, long time. 
Each of these here on these six days are going to be solutions to those problems. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal them on a daily basis and give you some amazing tools to help you through this difficult time. I've really thought hard about this, as you can tell, because I've gone through it. I've gone through all of those frustrations, but I've got some solutions for you. You may notice the water droplets coming down. That's because every time I create for you a solution, small solutions to your day, I'm going to peel off one of these water droplets, or we're going to find out what aspect of that triangle, the S-E-T, do those solutions relate to. Now I'm going to hand over to my good friend Mike now, who's just going to elaborate a little bit more about this idea of the stream of thought. Mike, I want to know uh, what you're dropping into those uh, streams of thought. I'm sure he's going to have a take on this, and uh, I'm going to hand over to Mike now. But Mike, before I hand over to you, uh, you're going to applaud as well, all those silent heroes, I'm sure. And uh, over to Mike. Henry. Big thank you, Tony. That was great. And as Tony said to echo, what he was thinking and saying about those silent heroes. A huge round of applause and a huge moment just to show gratitude and appreciation for the work that those people are continuing to do to help us get through this very challenging time. So, when it comes to those stream of thoughts, Tony illustrated that beautifully with the image of the two boys. Now the question is, what are you doing on purpose every day to make sure you're dropping sticks and not trash, not litter, not things that are gonna contaminate your mind, so to speak. Now I mentioned the term on purpose because that's what you have to do. It's a deliberate time where you have to craft and create things that are gonna inspire you, move you forward because if you just leave it to chance guess what your mind's going to get cluttered and it's going to revert to that default of thinking in a particularly non-supportive way Paul Chek one of my mentors who I follow quite deeply in terms of holistic health coaching he calls it stinking thinking <laughs> you don't want to be doing any stinking thinking you want to be doing constructive thinking so think about that stream Think about how a street, the image of a stream, things are constantly moving through the stream. What's constantly moving through your mind on a daily basis and are you making sure that you are filling that stream or putting things in that stream that flow through your mind that are gonna uplift you, enliven you, enrich you. So, looking forward to sharing those solutions with you. So until next time, be empowered. Stay energized and here is to your success.